Hello, welcome to Qigong Discovery. Today is day number 24 of 30 Days, 30 Ways to Breathe, and today we're going to do a tiger breathing. Now there's a couple ways to do tiger breathing, but today's way is going to release bound energy in the spine and add flexibility to the spine and charge up our system. It's actually not too exuberant, but it's a great way to breathe and begin to circulate energy along your spinal meridian. So let me show you how we can do this. Hello, welcome to Qigong Discovery. I'm Sean, and this is day number 24 of 30 Days, 30 Ways to Breathe, as we learn to do in Qigong. Today we're going to do tiger breathing. There's several different ways you can do tiger breathing. Tiger breathing is a way to energize and charge up your system and bring vitality into your energy body and also strengthen your resolve and strengthen your inner willpower, which is really, really important. I do tiger breathing routinely and I like to feel that sense of strength and power and confidence in my day. And so I use tiger breathing to accomplish that. But today actually isn't gonna be quite so exuberant, but we are going to use a tiger breath to circulate and release energy from our spine, strengthen our inner energy body, and move energy and circulate that energy around our system. So let me show you how this is done. We're gonna walk our feet as wide as our shoulders, our toes are forward. Now, we're going to be doing two things. We're gonna be moving the arms, and we're going to be undulating the spine to follow the arm movement. So let's make our tiger claw. So this is our tiger claw. When we do tiger breathing, we often form our hands this way, which adds strength and power to our hands. So we're going to lower, and the palms face in, and it's just below my belt line. I soften the knees. I bring the hips a little bit forward. And as I lift up the midline, just chin high, I turn the palms up and I bring the palms down. And with that, I bring an inhale up and exhale down. Now let's add the spine to it. The spine is gonna move like this. The hips are gonna move a little bit forward and back and the upper shoulders are gonna move forward and back. So we're gonna add suppleness and mobility to our spine and release energy, but allow that energy to then begin to flow, enter our system and circulate around and through us. So. Let's drop the hands, tiger claw. Let's soften our body, lift up, inhale and exhale down. Now let's begin to move the body forward and back, undulate the spine, and you'll feel a sense of rhythm with this flow, this kind of breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now let me turn sideways so you can see my body. It's not too dramatic. You don't have to use a lot of force or movement into it. Just very gentle. So I soften the knees. I feel myself, my weight in my heels. I'm gonna bring my hips a little bit forward and I'm gonna undulate the spine. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. So see how my spine, hips and shoulders are moving? It's that snake-like quality that allows it to improve. I'm lifting up and inhaling and exhaling. Just like that. Again, supple, gentle, modest movements, not too dramatic, but there's a lot of power in that. So let's do this together. So let's sink into our heels, soften the knees, Make this tiger claw, lower the hands. Let's lift up, inhale, just chin high and exhale down. And begin to move your spine to follow with the inhale as we lift and exhale as we lower. Inhale as we lift and exhale as we lower, that's it. So let's begin to feel this sense of rhythm, continuity in the movement. It feels like a flow. And perhaps it can be, but this is a way to breathe. 
Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And begin to feel the energy level rise. Begin to feel that sense of strength and confidence grow. And allow your body to become strong, powerful, and feel the breath energizing, lifting. Feel your energy circulating. Feel it begin to move and expand in your body. That's the power of tiger breathing. Lift up and drop. Inhale and lower. The hands pull energy up and send it throughout your energy system. We'll do a couple more. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Let's do one more. And down. And walk our feet in, lower the arms. Now I don't know how much you could see my back, shoulders and spine moving, but again, it was moving in this pattern, this snake-like pattern, like kind of like a rope, right? It goes like that. So we wanna add that and move with our arm and hand movements while we do this breath. Tiger breathing, excellent, offers many benefits, and I'm glad you were here to learn this with me today. My name is Sean, this is Qigong Discovery. I enjoy making these Qigong videos so you can learn and improve your practice and improve your health and vitality in your life. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you soon.